Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we've ravaged part of Limgrave. Uh, this little bandit camp, especially, uh, demoralized them, really. There's a couple things we still need to do here. I've uh, left some beacons, and there's a room below those ruins that I want to check. Uh, I also... <laughs> I bought the uh, cookbooks, and then we didn't really look at some of the crafting that we can do. So, as a quick, as a quick heads up, uh, invigorating cured meat boosts robustness. Uh, white cur cured meat is here. We have fire pots that we can make so with mushrooms and smoldering butterflies. Uh, holy water pots uses FP. Throw at enemies to inflict holy damage. Uh, roped fire pots throw behind to inflict fire damage. That's kind of cool. Uh, we've got a roped holy water pot to throw behind as well. Uh, throw at enemies to inflict damage with bone darts. It's little, like little rabbit bones. We just chuck at enemies. And then uh, the glowstones, fine. Pearl calling, finger remedy, fine. And then I can make arrows, which is cool. Uh, I really like that because I was worried that I'm going to have to buy them. Uh, bone arrows and then bone arrows fletched. So I imagine that these are just better, right? But there we go. So I was thinking about maybe heading back there, but, I, you know, we've got full flask here. And... I didn't rest here because I didn't want these bodies to come back. So I'm going to actually just head in here. Oh, boy. Oh, also, we are online now. So we might see a lot of uh, blood stains and potentially some other bad stuff. Strong foe ahead. Try running. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. We, we, we saw him up there before. What if I do run? What if I do run and we fight him later? Is that valid? What the? Well done. <laughs> oh God. I'm out. Oh, what? Oh no, horn dude. I don't like any of this. Guys, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> we will try and fight him. I just want to kind of see what's beyond here. They give up chase pretty easily, thankfully. They seem to kind of have some pretty strict borders. Necessary item ahead. Oh, I like the sounds of this. Storm Hill. This is a whole new area. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have headed back. Ambush. Sleep. I love that, that where we can just run and jump at them. That is super nice. And then we got some... Healing back. Be wary of dogs. <laughs> There's going to be so many messages. Looks like we have a Shrine of Grace. That's right. Said it correctly. I'm not going to rest here, though. Oh, no! <laughs> I wanted to click the... I wanted to click the sign. Oof. Wait, what's this? Oh. Maybe the misclick will help me. 
greetings. She could be Traveler my maiden. From beyond the fog. I am Melina. Melina. Offer you an accord. I'm really hoping that she lets me level. Have you heard of the finger maidens? They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Yeah, keep rubbing it in. I can play the role of Maiden. Oh, sick. Turning runes into strength. Oh, this is to perfect. To aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Um, 100%. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace. To turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle. Oh, this is like, it's all happening right now. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a Spectral Steed named Torrent. <laughs> Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. So she was probably the one that we saw in the cutscene when the horse approached us, right? Yeah, here we go. Should this has actually worked out really nice. I don't know how many runes Let I have. My hand but. rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Okay, I have 4,000. With the level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. You would follow. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one. As your level rises, so does the amount of runes required for your next attribute increase. Pretty standard stuff. So you can see runes needed, like, 811. So we can probably do, like, four, I'm guessing. Now, the Uchi weapon that we're using... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna double check it. I'd like to be certain here. Use the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If your spectral steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one flask of Crimson Tears to do so. You can dismount by using the whistle again or by pressing L3. Okay. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items in your pouches. Uh, four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. Quick item, three, four, yeah, okay. But let's put the steed whistle in here for sure. This other stuff I don't think we need just yet. And then I need a spirit calling bell to be able to use these ashes, I think. So that's not happening for the time being. I might actually just remove this. So now we've got the steed whistle and the crimson tears. And eventually we'll, we'll rebalance these flasks when we need it. Uh, the Uchi here... Oh, strength and dex actually both scaling the same. Um, but this causes that blood loss buildup, so that's nice. I'm thinking when we had that bleeding earlier that maybe it wasn't impacting us because the bar didn't get full. I think that's probably what was going on. Alright, so what do we want to do then? Let's go a little bit of dex, a little bit of strength, a little bit of vigor. Maybe I'll go double vigor. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, cool. Well, that's awesome. Now I actually feel more confident that we go back and we try to clear all that earlier stuff that we had. Oh, nice. Uh, Stone Sword Key, that was uh, something required in our opening area, I'm pretty sure. 
Off her fingers and seek hole. <laughs> oh no. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? If you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. I don't recall specifically, but I'm pretty sure that first, first boss that almost insta-killed us um, was like a the grafted spider. Visions of beautiful. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Oh, is that right? Head. Scary. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? Spirit jellyfish ashes. Okay. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think. The little un. <laughs> the little un. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle. Tell them I love them. Okay. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Oof. Rough. Okay. Uh, didn't expect octopus. <laughs> uh, okay. So, we have a decision to make here. And the decision is... Oh, I love that we auto-mount. Double jump? We can fight while we're on here. Oh, this is really nice. I'll hit him. One of these days. Wow. Okay, so this is I could just be I can just be on here. Cruising. Covering ground big time. Now look at that. He's back up there, and I wonder. I can also acquire materials while on the horse. I could sneak up on this guy. That is creepy. Oh, really, bro? little guys oh god Look, guys I'm friendly I swear oh you're big You looked a little bit more intense than the others. Look at all the wolves kind of overlooking the, uh, the valley that we came through. Ooh. 
I have a feeling this guy's about to bring me to Pound Town. Let me just clean up this mess behind you. Don't mind me. Okay, I can target different body parts here. That was actually... Oh yeah, he's pretty angry. Okay, let's bring him up here. Maybe? Whoa! To the fields, my friend! the fields. ask for this. Oh boy. Wow, dude. Oh, he might have actually killed some of those. Oh, and he killed me too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I feel like in a one-on-one, -on -one, I can probably handle that. And he did kill those little harpy deals. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I think it's doable. <laughs> I think it's doable. And I actually like that position better than the position we ran through. Let's see if the wolves are restricted as much as the soldiers. Nice. We still have to return to do the smithing upgrade. What happened here? Laggardly sort ahead. Good luck. What is that? Looks like a worm or something. I really like the idea that you can just use the horse and still do... Uh, seems like, anyway all the stuff that we were doing before. Okay, so where did those harpy things come from then? That was seemingly out of nowhere. He's gonna, oh, he's back. I was going to say, he's going to come back at the worst time. And that was almost true. Come on. Oh my god. Super whiffs. Oh, 
Well, if anybody was sleeping around here, they're not anymore. Wow. Okay, I can't use my sheath anymore. I'm out of FP. Thinking about just swinging for the fences there. I think we got him. Oh, do we though? We got him. Wow. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, not to sound greedy, but uh, he's not even—he's not even dropping anything. This guy. That's it. Okay. Fair enough. We, I mean, we probably got some decent runes from him, but... Just saying. Okay, so now we're gonna head back into Limgrave proper, I think. And go to the... We have that hidden basement or that hidden bedroom under the runes. I wonder if he will respawn, though. Okay, where's the... Didn't we just see a little skull here? There it is. As, as long as we got the uh, horn blower, he's definitely our biggest concern. That double jump, super nice. Okay. So I might as well rest. We'll figure out if that guy's going to respawn or not. I wonder if I should have just been resting before and she would have just shown up for us randomly because we're kind of avoiding it. Let's go Vigor. The only thing is, um, Strength. Let's see here. Yeah, Physical Defense could be nice. another little bonus there but let's just go vigor for now and I will let's crush these how many do we gain 200 okay it's not bad Now, do I want to clear all of these guys again? That's the question. Probably not all of them. Just the key ones... ...that will get me into the hidden room. I think it's over there. Oh, 
Oh, I might actually... I think it's around this corner, if I'm not mistaken. I could probably be mistaken. Yeah, I might be. Oh no, I think I'm right, actually. There's a the little steps there. Real subtle. They'll never know. If I can take out Hornblower, it's probably good for us. right here. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, cool. Attacking required ahead. Am I getting trolled right now? Okay, with a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armament's type determines what skill it can have. Uh, some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. Okay, so I need to write this down that I need a whetstone knife. Add that to our shopping list. The uh, Spirit Calling Bell also on there. Adding affinities. With a Whetstone Knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. This way, you can alter an armament's attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. An armament's type determines what affinities it can have. Some special armaments, like those with unique skills, cannot be granted new affinities. All right. Oh! Ha! Huh. We got one! Never mind. It's given us the knife. That's sick. Ash of War Storm Stomp grants affinities and skills to an armament. Use on all melee armaments. Alright. Sick. We also have to use that golden seed. Okay. Now, for sure, for sure, we're getting screwed here. Fine. Liar ahead. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, boy. Would like to leave the Chamber of Secrets. Are they looking for me? They probably heard me banging on all the walls down there like some psychopath. See, like, that's cool too. We can just bail out of there. Can I not check my map on my horse? Okay, so this, I know exactly what this is. This is that thing that we marked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, what I do want to do is go here. I guess we could just travel there. Sure. This way, Tali. May I have a word? Um, yes. A 
pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. Uh -huh. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Um, yes, I can call the spectral steed. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. <laughs> the shopping list is complete. Spirit calling bell. All right, awesome. Lone wolf ashes. It is a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past. Now it is thine. To do with as thou wishest. So those ashes seem like they're probably single use then? Forgive mine intrusion tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, Four I wonder, hands, two faces. before the tarnished tire of a basins to the two fingers? Jeez. Okay. So we're going to do... Awesome. Uh, we need sacred tears, which we don't have yet. We need to allocate flash charges. I'm gonna throw one into here so that if I want to use more of our like sheath attacks right now, then we can do it. Ashes of War. Talk to Melina. The Ashes of War menu can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be lost. By adding an affinity, you can alter an armament's attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. An armament's type determines what skills. Yeah, okay. So if I was going to do something here, Storm Stomp. Um, so now that means I'm going to lose Unsheath, it looks like. Unsheath is going to be turned to Storm Stomp. My attack power is going to drop as well. And my dexterity scaling is going to stay the same. So maybe not the best thing to do. But I could give Storm Stomp here, since we're just trying to figure it out. Huh. Like, it looks like it's boosting the scaling, but not enough to get out of the, the grade. What if I just gave it this... It keeps the attack power the same, and it looks like it's just adding Storm Stomp. Yeah. And then I, st I still have it here. Maybe that icon's showing that it's on another weapon, and maybe it would get removed from that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do this. Awesome. Awesome. I actually have a few smithing stones. That's cool. I just need runes. Okay, so tell you what. Let's take a break here. When we come back, um, at some point I'd actually like to go back to where we started. And in there, we're going to have that use for... What's the item called? The stone sword key. Break one imp statue seal. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, this bell... Do I have to equip this? Probably. Oh, maybe I can just equip these. Look at the FP cost. Pretty high. 
Noble Sorcerer Spirit. He's the cheapest one. So we can maybe try... Try that? No, it doesn't work like that. Okay, hold on. I'll tell you what. I'll mess around with it and I'll figure it out. Okay, and then I'll show you when we come back. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.